Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Starting off the day in Claremont, Florida, and they have this little homage to Key West that they have created here at this roadside attraction. This is basically a starting point. I'll be hitting a, quite a few things, making my way down Highway 27 and going to... Adam the Woo? Jackie super enthused? Hey, what a coincidence. Looks as if I want to have an impromptu guest tagging along. Join you, shall I? Walking down this dock onto the lake. There is a ship steering wheel here. Oh, look out there, there's a gator. Whoa, is that real? Whoever's on that boat better be careful. I thought that was a real bird at first. Did you think it was real? Tricked me. And don't be alarmed. Jaws here is not real either, but he has been strung up by his hind leggedness. Well, the tail fat. What's the back end of a shark? What's it called? Uh, hind quarters. Hind quarters. Bruce the shark, plastic version, hanging from his hind quarters. Up on the water tower is an imitation pappy. It's not a real pappy, but it looks, it's in the pappy family. That old miner, bearded miner right there, waving the, waving the flag, just perched on the tower. And speak of the devil, there's a real pappy himself, but he's been imprisoned in this glass case. You doing all right in there, buddy? If you need help, just wiggle your eyes. Just turn your eyes. Oh, that's a sign of help. Call the authorities. Pappy's in trouble. He's holding a bag of fruit. Don't be deceived. It's a trap. This looks very dangerous. Thankfully, they have they have placed a little warning sign here. Thankfully, you stopped me. You never know what's in that water. There's some some gators and stuff down in there, or maybe some cro. You know what the difference between a crocodile and alligator is? One sees you later, and the other is after a while. Nailed it. They're having a lazy day here on the farm. Look at that pig right there. Oh, the donkey was. Shaking his head. Oh, you gonna come up and say hi? Oh, you're just gonna itch yourself? That works too. They don't have to worry about predators because there's a fence up in the lake, so nothing's gonna crawl up on shore to disturb them. You can rest well, no worries. Go back to your slumber. Words of warning, read the sign. If the biting doesn't get you, the farting will. Making our way down the road, heading to the next location. Straight ahead. We're about to make our way to the top from an elevator. We're not gonna take the stairs all the way up there. That would be a little too intense. To the tippy top of the citrus tower. Dun, 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 dun. dun. Couple different models there. There's one in the case of the citrus tower itself. And here's another one made out of cardboard with some information behind it of the history of the structure. See it there right in the center of the photograph. Nothing but citrus trees for miles and miles. Here's yet another documentation. Now when we get up there, it's gonna look considerably different current day. Lots of collectible mementos here, including a view master there, and a few other items, a little banner, and some other paraphernalia. I like that trucker hat. I don't think they sell this, but if they did, I'd probably, I might buy one. Some proposed ideas of what it was gonna look like. And here's construction, 1956. The door is opening, going into the elevator. There's no turning back. Nah. <laughs> Why is it carpeted? <laughs> In case you go crazy, you won't like hurt yourself slamming into the wall. Padded walls. Yes. Makes sense. Makes sense. I'm already feeling a little jittery. Jittery. Seventh floor. Eighth floor. Ninth floor. Tenth floor. Is there really thirteen floors to this? Wow, they didn't omit the thirteenth floor. That's classic. It's not good. It's not good. 
That's not good. Whoa, like what just happened? That was a weird bump. Okay, made it. Some information signs let us know some of the details. This is pointing west, Lake Mineola, one mile away. You see it right there on the horizon. Produces 80% of the U.S. citrus, at least it used to. That was then. This is now housing developments. Lots and lots of homes where the citrus trees once were. You can even see how the road bends a little there. And then modern day, there's that same road. 15 miles south of here is Disney World. Did you know there's 1,442 natural lakes in this area? And over 30,000 in the entire state. That's a lot. Might be difficult to see, but off to the east, way over there is the skyline of downtown Orlando. I'll see if I can zoom in just a little more. Faintly see the buildings just about in the center of the screen. Downtown. Can definitely get an interesting perspective from the bird's eye. I never realized it snowed in central Florida. Is that snow on that roof? Is there snow down there? It's beginning to look a lot like Florida snow. It's beginning to look a lot like sealant. Is it sealant? Filling up the cracks, holding in the warm and cold air. <laughs> so I got to look at it over there. It's covering the top of that building. I like to pretend it's I like to pretend it's snow. Make a wish, drop a coin. They do not guarantee the wish, but you will hear the coin all the way down, down, down. You have to put your earlobe right here next to this like rusted out piece. We have my tetanus shot. You put your coin in here. I got a penny. I'm going to do this. I put my ear up against here. Ooh, it sounds like the sea. Here it goes. I hear it. I can hear it spinning around, circling. It's done. That was it. I'm gonna switch ears to here. Round two. Oh, I can hear myself echoing. Even that sounds weird. Yeah? You're right, this side is louder. It sounds like a slinky dog opening and closing. Okay, that's it. My wish has been granted. The genie told me. Should we let everyone know what we wish for? Oh, I was <laughs> taking a picture. No, no, I'm doing a video. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I do videos. So if you tell your wish, does it like, that's, in, that's in, what in I'm past asking. it coming true? That's what I'm asking. Or maybe it makes it come true even more. It might. Tell, tell him. Is that your phone? Maybe. No, it's not mine. It's some rude tourist. This has been a very long segue, but the whole reason we came up here so I could do this zoom in shot on what the actual subject matter of today's adventure is. The House of Presidents right down there, a quirky roadside attraction slash wax museum. You're getting it from an aerial view. We're heading down there now. Dun 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 It's time to go down there. Downward. The descent is happening. Going down. 13. 12. 11. You know the rest. Now I have been here once before. About four or five years ago. But the White House replica was on tour. I didn't get to see it. That's the main reason I wanted to come back and check it out. Plus they've added quite a bit since half a decade ago to the inside of the museum. This miniature Mount Rushmore always reminds me of the scene in the Truman Show when he's flipping through the family album and he says something to the effect of, I remember it being much bigger. Isn't it supposed to be much bigger? But it was just a model similar to this one. Nonetheless, it is impressive, most impressive. You could bask in its glory. Are you, are you over there basking? There's one seat for an audience of one, and it's me. But are you basking? I'm basking in the sun.
sun and the glory. A little added ambiance, the bells of the citrus tower. Let's listen. And they're done. Now this is interesting. This placard saying the President Hall of Fame welcomes you. Looks like the four fingered Mickey hands on either side, but the head has been completely omitted. So whatever face was there has been removed for one reason or another. There's the seal. Can't cross that line. They have a chain up. But you don't want to get too close to Abraham Lincoln. Gotta love that guy. I'm the 1860s era Santa Claus for the United States. Okay. Um, so you're a throwback. Of, definitely. The, the background was there was an artist named Thomas Nast who actually kind of brought the America Santa into focus. The sad part for the Southern boys is that Santa Claus is a, definitely a Yankee. Finally going in to the President's Hall of Fame. Look at him over there. Old school version of Santa Claus. Just giving a friendly wave to passerby traffic on their daily commutes. Here's the information brochure. Thousands upon thousands of items on display, including all 45 presidents. It's a big deal. A really big deal. And listen to what George W. Bush has to tell you. Dream is if you live forever. Live as if you'll die today. That's right. You gotta live your days as if they are your last on earth. Because one day they will be. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I said, James Dean quote. Have some fun and fork over more money for more wisdom from the great George W. Bush. More money? God bless the United States of America. More money for more wisdom. And there's my there's my fortune right down here a new turn of events will soon come about i like that a lot and i also like these displays in here in the gift shop before you pay the 15 dollars admission to go in in case you were wondering all presidential water is purified it says it right there see all has to be purified 1962 this is what it looked like from the top of the citrus tower where i just was that right there, there it is, all, all brand new. This part of the exhibit shows the construction from 1792 to 1800. Look how detailed this is. All the little miniatures down there, some of them moving around. And you can see what the White House was like before it was completely constructed. You can see some sort of wood crafting taking place right over there. And this gentleman is actually placing the lumber on top of each other and then in this section there's yet another guy he's got a hammer and he's like hammering something down in his his other hand up oh, there he goes again welcome to my home i live here now you live in the white house just moved in i said i could have some cookies and make myself comfortable so did you have a cookie you but i did make myself comfortable it's so uncomfortable <laughs> <laughs> You wedged in there? So wedged in here. The desk of Thomas Jefferson and looming over the top of it are all these wax figures. They're all looking, they're all looking down. Something imp very important must have happened right there. If you need to use the restroom, you have to pass not only by John Wayne, but also this turnstile to go in the door. Now, this was originally a full wax museum before it became themed around the presidents. That's why there are so many figures here on site. Here's a replica of the Liberty Bell. It's a very good size. You can see compared to the six foot tall figures beside it on how big it really and how tall it really is. Since it is the holiday season, they have Christmas cards from each year sent out from 
the White House. I'm always fascinated by these life-death masks. This is President Lincoln's, and as well as his hand right here, as it focuses in, a life hand cast. We got Hillary and Bill. This, I believe, is Barbara Bush. We got Ronnie, George Bush Sr. And wedged in here, we got Mark Twain over here in the corner and JFK Jr., that famous photograph now immortalized through a figure at the funeral where he was saluting. And there it is, the miniature White House. I don't know if that's really the accurate word to describe this because it is big. It's taller than I am, six foot three, and this looms over me by probably a foot or two. So miniature might not be the best description. One twelfth scale. That is big enough to shock even Barney Fife security. See right there? Barney Fife security. The state dining room. Now they're tempting us to push this red button. No, no, don't push it. Read the sign. What is the no, sign? No, sorry. What is this? Read the sign. It says. Do not push red button. So it's just a temptation. What the? Why would they do this to us? This entire case is dedicated to JFK. There's a bunch of busts and different paraphernalia all through here. As you can see, there is security everywhere. A guard there, a guard up on the roof. Yeah, way up there. You can't be too careful. Gotta make sure everything is locked down. I like these figures down here on the ground. They stand about, probably about two feet tall, give or take approximately, and they stretch the entire perimeter underneath this pole and then culminating with this, yeah, very... Who's that supposed to be? This is John Zweifel, who has immortalized himself with a mannequin as well. He's the, the creator of the White House miniature. Standing above that famous grate is Marilyn. She's trying to get the attention of someone, but he's just pretty much trying to just avoid her. He doesn't want to... He's just pretending she's not, she's not back there. She's behind you. John, she's, she's behind you. The wing to this side is what you might know as the West Wing. The Vice President's office is right down inside there. We can get a little, little peek. Next to the Oval Office, we got FDR with his best friend right down there. Different versions of the Oval Office. This is under the Kennedy administration. This one under Johnson's administration and Nixon and off to the left Ford come take a look what's under the desk what here is it? open this door okay you open the door there ah there's a child sir did someone lose their no no that's a, that's a replica oh. that, that really happened through in history so okay we'll just close that back no no open it up oh okay he needs air oh he's shifting his head Obama's looking over to his right. He looks, he's very attentive to whatever he's looking at. Sir, can I have, can I have a moment of your time, sir? Hey, how's it going, right? Or no, or I gotta step over this way. We're now looking at the east wing and you see the courtyard down here. The cool thing about this is the whole back end of it has been opened up and you can look in. It's basically like a huge dollhouse with very detailed furniture pieces, hand-painted items on the walls. There's just so much detail. Look at that, that is, that's awesome. Prior to the Oval Office being built, this would have been Lincoln's office as used as something else now, but that's where, that's where Lincoln did most of the business. The dining room just below the bedroom done up in the era of George and Laura Bush's accommodations. This really is pretty amazing. I 
I am wondering, however, why most of the wax figures have their heads pointing downward in that fashion. Can you recreate that face? Recreate it. Like, I can't bug my eyes enough. Pretty good. Good? Pretty good. All right. Bug your eyes more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. Oh. See, I did this in your video. Uh -huh. Now you're doing this in mine. Oh, it's like a callback. You have to watch like both. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a, a callback. You only get one view per video. Like view as in. Is that how it works? Like, like vantage point is the way I mean view. You look like a giant back there. Dun dun dun. It's a comfortable chair. I'm no longer in front filming you. I'm, I'm right here now. You can stop peeking in the window. But I was. Let me take a look at the chair. Look how very patriotic. Even even the chair that's hidden from public view is very patriotic. Even look, even behind it. Wow. It's got the cloud formation. I want you to try this. Take your photo. Sit behind the desk. President for a day. I'm gonna I definitely need to do that. It's pretty much how I'm gonna be if I ever get into office. With arms wide open. I don't know, why am I doing that pose? Um, I told you to. You're my vice president and you follow orders. You're the president? Yeah, we decided that. The oh, okay. Order. So this is okay for a vice president yeah. to a president do. Yeah, a president has to be more regal though. Okay. Vice president can be foolish. So is that how it works? Yeah. Okay, now I, now I get the whole democratic system. History lesson. I'm just gonna give a little circular view, starting with the flag. You can just get the consensus of what the big room here in this museum looks like. A lot of stuff. Spend a lot of time in here. Still really not see everything. See what's in this painting is right there. At least the that's the backside open air version of it. Pretty freaking cool. Up on top of this door is a little animatronic eagle, like twisting his head back and forth. Look at this one, the palm. I wonder if that palm tree is still out there in the yard. I have to see if I can line that, that angle up. Well, there is a palm tree. I guess it's the same one. There's a limo here parked out front. It does have a little, some stanchions around it. Looks like the far right end has fallen over, see if I can go up and get a little closer view. Okay, now this states Nixon, Ford, and Carter it was their limousine from 73 to 78, a 1973 Cadillac. This is placed inside the back seat. That's gonna do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. Helps keep you in the loop, up to date on future adventures, endeavors I will be going on, as well as uploads here on this channel. Take it a step further, ring that notification bell. And give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this episode. It lets me know you care. And I'm not helping you. The big thumbs up. No, I was talking. I was talking to those watching at home on their smartphone oh, or on their TV. <laughs> My mistake. My mistake. I appreciate the support, though. I'm just trying to be supportive. And also, if you would like to support Jackie, super enthused, go to her channel. Put the link in the description box. You filmed a similar video today as well so they can watch both angles. Two different perspectives. You want to give kind of a, a rundown of what you do on your channel? Yeah, so I do, oh crap, oh, sorry. Um, I'll see you in the next video, the vlog. That was good. That was terrible. Nailed it. I have... Is over. <laughs>